Sacred Heart boys basketball team is the defending Class S state champs and perhaps on their way to another state championship. As John Pearson tells us, the Hearts led by junior Mustafa Haran, and he doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Number three, Mustafa Haran. A lot of the times, you know, I feel like I, I have guys at my mercy. Every time I catch the ball, I feel like I have somebody at my mercy. Don't mistake his confidence for cockiness. He's humble. Mustafa Heron doesn't take his talent for granted. He can do it all. You know, a lot of versatility, you know, that's my big thing is being able to do multiple things on the floor, play multiple positions. Gifted and hard work. It's a deadly combination. The Sacred Heart Junior spends six hours a day in the gym. By the time game time rolls around, it's showtime. He does whatever he wants on the court. Opponents can't keep up. Even when I don't score, you know, even when I, if I'm dishing off to somebody, I feel like they're like, oh, there it go again. And even when I do score, they're like, been hitting tough shots, they're like, oh, there it goes again. Aaron is the state's number one recruit, and he still has another year plus of high school basketball to go. For John Carroll, coaching him is easy. You know, we got to resist the temptation to just watch him operate. Playing alongside him is even better. He's a good teammate, he's a good leader, he can shoot the ball. You know, he's pretty big, strong. You don't really get too much players like him around. Mustafa's intriguing that he can shoot it now. I mean, he's really improved the perimeter game, and, you know, he handles the ball well. And he handles that ball about as well as he handles the pressure. He came into his own in the sixth grade. By the time he was in eighth grade, he was on the national radar. And by his freshman year, he had already committed to play collegiately at Pittsburgh. You know, I was comfortable, you know, I was able to get it out the way early, just focus on getting my game ready for the college level. Heron has been playing the game since he can remember, working with his dad who played college ball at Central Connecticut State and then professionally in Europe. His dad, whose former teammate is a coach at Pitt, likes what he sees. Well, he's very unselfish. That's the part that we work on every day, just being unselfish, seeing, seeing the floor, being a good teammate. From the time I was, you know, two, it's just my dad trying to, he, you know, he basically threw everything at me, at, you know, at once because he didn't know how big I was going to be. When I was born, the doctor said uh, seven foot, but kind of gave, gave up on that one a little while ago. And look at him now. At six foot five, it has all come together for the 17-year-old. His body already looks college ready. He put on 10 or 12 pounds of muscle. He needs that to take the pound in that, that he that he does. On the court and from the stands, Heron is built to take it all. He welcomes everyone's best shot, physically and verbally. <laughs> Some of the things I can't even say on camera, but um, and I hear a lot, you know, then the fans are into it. My favorite thing is probably the overrated, is the chant from the fans is overrated, because then, then, when, then when you score, you kind of just look at the fans like. Like he has them at his mercy. In Waterbury for the Sports Edge, I'm John Pearson.